we now look at. And I'm Mike Marza in for David Navarro. We begin this half hour with the next round of smoke and haze expected to get here from those wildfires burning in Canada. It was really bad in the Midwest this week, but it's not expected to be as severe, especially now what we compare it to with the beginning of the month that we saw here. Yeah, so what can we expect? Sam Champion has been monitoring this very closely for us. Sam? Yeah, so you know air quality is different neighborhood to neighborhood, and it also changes pretty regularly depending on the air and the direction that we've got in here. Now, this just dropped to 46. Run out Outside, take a deep breath of air because that's the best air quality we've had all day long so far. Now it's likely to go back up into the 50s again as we go through the afternoon. But at 46, that's solidly good. And we have good air quality in a lot of locations. Once it gets past 51 and mostly where it's been this morning is right at that moderate level. And whenever you see a reading that's above 101, you start to think, oh, maybe that's not so healthy to be out in. And it also correlates to some of the com colors that we've got back off here. So when you see all that yellow and orange, and red. Look right over here. That's the high side. This is heavy particles of smoke in the air. And that goes all the way back west of Chicago here into Iowa, looking into Wisconsin, parts of Minnesota as well, well down into Kentucky, Tennessee, and into the Carolinas. So it's diving a little bit to the south of us. You can see how we are in really good shape right there. Let's run this up a little bit and see what we're headed for. See how close we get to the poor air quality uh, that's back off to the west of us. By the time we get to Thursday at about 11 o'clock in the morning. Some of that's in New Jersey. Remember, this is a model. There's some wiggle room on this, and that's why there's that air quality alert out, not just for us, but all the way back to where that air quality is really bad. Now, we've also got some scattered thunder showers in the area right now. I want to get you read in on those, and we'll talk more about the air quality over the next couple days. We come back in big weather. Shirley? All right. Thank you, Sam. A reminder, you can get an update on the air quality anytime on our website or your free app, ABC7NY. Click on the airnow.gov link in our air quality story, and then you can enter your zip code to see the very latest conditions in your area. Right now, our area is, as Sam has said, now back into good territory, but as you can see, it continues to change. The hottest and most expensive ticket this summer is Taylor Swift. We've heard that. And imagine being a nine-year-old girl and winning two free golden tickets in a raffle. But then, this little Swifty watched her seats disappear the night before the big show. What do you do? Well, you get seven on your side's Nita Pineda to join in to help out with this special story. Nita. Mike, the Staten Island sweetheart had her heart broken just after recovering from neurosurgery for a rare brain condition. They got ghosted by their ticket broker, and her mom had seen all the Swifties we helped, so she sent us a Hail Mary. Kevin, it's your great way scared me. Last February, this was Tabitha Parlanti in the hospital recovering from brain surgery. Her parents said their youngest suffered with severe headaches for weeks. A complete change in personality, you know, from being so outgoing to just not wanting to do anything. Right. Diagnosed with a condition where spinal fluid builds in the brain, the nine-year-old made a full recovery. At her Staten Island School's Daddy-Daughter Dance this spring, Tabitha was beaming after winning the grand prize raffle. Two tickets to the hottest tour of the year, Taylor Swift. I was happy. I was actually crying a little bit because, you know, everything that she went through and, and we knew how much she really wanted to, to go see the show. So, yeah, I was, I was in tears. We did Taylor Swift tickets better, The show was for Memorial Day weekend at Met Life and Tabitha had her whole outfit ready to go. This is what I was going to wear. It's a perfect outfit. But days before the big concert, the scalper who promised the raffle prize went dark. He's not responding, and I really, I just don't think it's happening. I was crying. She yeah. cried the whole weekend. She never got to the show, and that weekend, Seven on Your Side was busy helping several groups of Swifties who shelled out thousands to ticket resellers via StubHub, but never got their Taylor tickets. But despite not being involved in Tabitha's ticket troubles, we asked StubHub if they could do a solid. We called StubHub, and StubHub is going to send you to Minneapolis for the Eras Tour. What do you think? I'm really happy. The pair traveled to Minneapolis, where her wildest dreams came true. We're at Taylor Swift, thank you, Seven on your side. Oh, oh big shout out to StubHub, which said it's committed to giving fans access to live events. So after hearing about Tabitha's story, we thought it was a great opportunity to help someone's dreams come true. Oh my gosh, you guys, this wasn't even mm -hmm. their ticket issue. They didn't even, this wasn't their problem. This was just a raffle at the school, had nothing to do with StubHub, but 
when we called them, they said, you know what? We're gonna give us we're gonna give her the ticket. Who is cutting onions? <laughs> First <laughs> off, she is just too cute. Oh, she's just cute. too cute. But we know how highly coveted those tickets yeah. are, and people have gone far and wide to get them. Yep, they flew to Minneapolis for the tickets. They got the free tickets through us. Oh. Went to Minneapolis, and guess what? They didn't even get back to Staten Island until Tuesday because they were caught up in all oh, these delays. Oh. Two days Stop. they had to spend there. <laughs> oh, what a precious family. And Nina, I'm so glad oh, that you yeah. could help them out. The Such a did. sweetheart, Tabitha. We hope you get better. She's did that reaction, too. Uh, just oh, memories, memories for life. Anyway, you know, you're awesome. Thank, Thank you. you.